All right, in this video, we'll be making a Swelt web component that you can use in your React projects, your Angular projects, and your Vue projects. We'll show you how to build the web component and how to insert it into each of these projects. The way it works is I'll refresh. You can see the count starts at zero, and you can increase the count by pressing the button. And this is a Swelt component. Uh, we can also start the count at a particular number by passing in a count prop. And then we can just increase it like so, and the same thing for view. So with that being said, let's get started. I already opened up the project folder in Visual Studio Code, so go ahead and do that. You can do that by going to File, Open. So now that I've done that, I'm going to click on New Terminal. I'm going to hit N, I'm going to Clear, and I'm going to type in MPX Diget. Swelt.js slash template, and I'm going to do a dot to clone it in the current folder I'm in. I'm going to do an npm install, and that'll install everything. I'll clear, and I'll do an npm run dev just to make sure the project's working. And I'll type in localhost 5000, and let me just see. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it's working, so that's good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the server. We'll clear it. Um, and we're going to go into our rollup config. We need to make some changes. Uh, the first main's fine. Um, the first thing we need to do is change this to, uh, we'll call it count button. So this will be our count button component. So you can use whatever file you want, but that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to delete this because we don't need it. Um, that's fine. And then we're going to do custom element true. And believe it or not, that's all we need to do. So this used to be located right here in the config. That changed uh, recently. I don't know when to right here. So just be sure that's true. Um, and go ahead and save that. Next thing we need to do is go into our app.js, our main.js, I'm sorry. And uh, we're going to not target anything because it's a web component and we're just going to pass it in like that and we'll also go into here and we'll delete all this um, we'll just keep something minor so we can see it we'll do an h1 we'll say hello component just so we can see it before we build out the actual one and now that we have that we need to go into our public folder and we need to delete a few things. I like to make these relative. We don't need our global CSS or any of our CSS because that'll just be included. But I'll make it relative so I can publish it to GitHub. I don't need a fav. I'll keep the fav icon just because it's good. And then if I go back to my rollup, you can see I have this count BTN. So that needs to change for our build. Build and this needs to go to count BTN.js. So it looks good. So now that's all done. We need to run npm run build to build the component. So hopefully it builds. Gave us a few warnings. Oh, and we did forget one thing when we were building the component. Um, we need to um, we need to have the tag name as well. So forgot to do that. So the way you do that is you do swelt um, colon options. Oops. And then you say tag equals, and we'll call this count btn for our tag. And then we'll do that. So let's rebuild that with that in mind. Glad we saw that error. And now we can do run npm start. We don't want to do npm run dev, but we can do npm run start. And that'll start everything up. And let's just see. And we don't see it. Um, because we haven't used it yet. So let's go into our body and use our web component. So now if I hit here, you can see it says hello component. And if I inspect element, what you'll notice is this count BTN, the shadow DOM, and the web component stuff. So that's looking good. So now let's build out our web component. So it's going to be a pretty simple web component. We're just going to have a button. So let's do that. So we'll do a button. And then we'll do an on click event. And we'll say, we'll just call the function on click just to keep things simple. And we'll have a count. 
and we'll have a count variable. We haven't done that yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's say let export because we want them to be able to set the count. So we'll say export let count equals zero. We'll have a function for on click and we'll say count plus equals and then we're going to turn count into a number because if they import it in it will be a string so we always want to make sure count is a number um, and we'll just say plus one so now that we have that going we can uh, we can build it again and we can start and hopefully if I refresh you'll see count you can see it's refreshing now one thing to note is that you can still use stores and all the lifecycle hooks so if I did import um, and we said on mount right as an example and to log can use on mount so just to show you this as an example so I'm going to build it I'm going to do start again and I can go into here refresh and you can see it says can use on mount so it looks good and you can also use styles as well um, just like you normally would so I'm gonna do a style and we're just gonna style the button we're gonna give it a width of a hundred pixels and a height of a hundred pixels nothing fancy just enough to uh, get us going and then we run start again and you can see we now have our component and it's working. If we look at that, so that's not working. Um, so yeah, so what we need to do is do that. Okay, so that was a bug. So let me, uh, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we were plusing count and yeah, so we were multiplying it by two and adding one to it basically. So let's fix that bug. You guys probably saw that. Um, so let's see so it looks like it's fixed so yeah so the other thing to note too is that you can also um, start the count off at something so if we wanted to do 30 as an example we could do that so that's looking good and then what you'll also notice in our build is that we have this count right here so this is the actual web component um, so it's kind of a lot of mumbo jumbo, but you can kind of see um, how it all works. And yeah, what's being shipped. So you can see can use mount right here as an example. So that's cool. So that's all being uh, shipped and created for us. We'll go ahead and delete all this extra stuff that we don't need so it doesn't confuse people. But that looks really good. Okay, so now that we have that, in the next sections, we'll get on to using this web component in um, other projects. So I'll see you then. We'll start by uh, creating an Angular project and then adding a uh, Swelt web component into it. I already have the Angular CLI installed, so if you don't have that, go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say ng new, and then I called it Angular EX. So that's the current folder I'm in in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to say yes. I'm just going to use CSS, and now it's going to install. That'll take a second, so I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so now it's installed. So you can see it's all installed. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over my uh, web component into the Angular project. So I'm gonna create a folder called JS. I'm not sure if this is the best way of doing this, so if you have a better way, please let me know in the comments. I'm gonna copy over uh, these two JS files, which are our web components, and they're in the public uh, build folder of the project, of the web component project. Next, I'm gonna go into my angular.json. I'm gonna scroll down to scripts. I'm gonna add the script. So it's SRC, JS, and then let me make sure I get this right. Count BT BTN.js. So that corresponds to that. So that's good. Um, the other thing you need to do to make this work is you need to go into your app 
And with Angular, they have this thing called an ng, uh, an ng model module. And here you need to say schemas, and we need to say custom element schema, and that'll allow you to use a web component. Okay. So with all that done, we can then go into here. I'm just going to delete all this because we don't need it all. I'm just going to say an H1, and I'm going to say Angular or Swelt component component in Angular project. So we'll do that, and then I'll do my account BTN, and let's just see if that works. So now I should be able to run npm start, and that should start up the Angular server. Oops, that doesn't work because I'm not in the right folder. So let me uh, cd into Angular exe. So let me clear this so it's a little bit easier to see. cd into Angular exe, and then I'm going to do npm run start because that's the. Or I can just do npm start, and that should serve everything. We'll say yes to that. Um, because we don't really care about privacy. Um, I don't think they're doing anything. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? <laughs> All right. So they're building the web application, and it looks like it's done. So if I go to localhost 4200, for some reason when I click on it, it doesn't always work, um, or it opens up in a different browser. Let's see. So if I inspect... I don't see it for some reason. Let's see what's going on. So this is kind of funny. Um, the reason that this wasn't working is that I did it in test. So you can see the test key right here. And I didn't do it in the uh, build one or in the architect one. So you gotta make sure you're doing architect build and then put it right here. Um, and we probably have to restart the server. So I'll do an MP start again. Sorry about that. And that should do it. Which is funny. Okay. So there we go. You can do one, two, three, four, five, six. You can also, um, do this as well. So we could say, um, I wonder if we can do, yeah, I don't even think you need that, the extra curly braces. So you can probably do that. There we go. So we now have our Swelt component inside our Angular app. So I'm going to go ahead and save everything there. I wonder what I'm, there we go. So now everything's saved. And with that, uh, we're ready to move on to React. So now we're going to do it in the React app. It's really easy to do. I'm going to open up a new terminal. I'm going to hit in. I'm going to clear. So right now I'm in the my React EX folder. I want to go back one so I can create my React app. And you just do that by typing in MPX create React app. And then we'll do the React EX folder. And that should create the React app. So we'll give it a second. Um, once that's done um, creating, we'll, uh, all we have to do is just add the web component to the script. I'm going to pause the video. This might take a second. So it looks like it's uh, done. So if I open it up, you can see everything's installed. So I'm going to CD into that React folder. And then if you look at the package.json, you can see it has a start script, which is pretty cool. So all we have to do is just add our uh, Swell component JS to the, uh, to the public folder right here. So it's pretty easy. I'm just going to copy it in. And then if we go to this uh, source, is it the source? No, it's the index. I'm sorry. So if we go to the index, all we have to do is just add our thing. I'm going to add it right here. So I'll say script. And then I'll use this defer so that it loads. And then we'll just load the count BTN script. So I'm going to save that. So that's saved. And then I'm going to go into my uh, app component. They have components in React 2. I think they all do, honestly. 
So I'm going to delete all this, um, all this stuff. So we don't need it. Um, and I'll just do an H1 like I did before. And I'll say uh, uh, Swelt component in React app. We'll do something like that. And then we'll do a count BTN. And we don't need this logo. It'll warn us if we don't. So I'm going to clear. I'm just going to type in npm start. And that should start everything up. And we should see the count. But Oh, just opened up. Okay, so give it a second. Okay, yeah, so we can see the count. It's working. I can also do count equals probably three. We'll save that. So it, it's working like so. Okay, so that's the uh, React section. So it's super easy. Just uh, use this defer, include the script, and then you can just use it right in your component, just like you would uh, any other React component. Anyway, I'll uh, next up is the uh, View app, so I'll uh, catch you then. All right, so in this video, we're going to show you View. Um, so I, I already have the View CLI installed, so I'm going to say View Create View EX. And that should install view thing. So let me undo that because you're supposed to say, yeah, view ex is the folder. Okay, yeah. So just making sure I got that right. I'm going to do view three and we're off. So view is an interesting framework. It's pretty close to swell. So you'll see that in a few seconds. This takes like a minute to load up. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you in a second. So views installed and now I can CD into it and I can do npm run serve and that should run everything and it's right here. So you have this component. This is the uh, hello world component with everything on the page. So if I click here you can see everything's right there. So I'm just going to delete everything inside the template because we don't need it. Yeah, it's a little bit weird though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I still like Swelt better to be honest with you. Actually, I'll keep that in. I'm just gonna just gonna delete some of this. Okay, so we'll delete that. Let's see if that makes it work. And then we'll do an H1, H1, and we'll say view in Swelt view at uh, Swelt component in view app. There we go. So we'll do that. And then if we go into our app, you can see where the image is. We don't need the image. And it should be fine. Yeah. It's weird. So there we go. So now everything's, now we can see everything. So now what I need to do is I need to copy my, uh, Web component JS into um, into uh, into the uh, public folder. So I'm going to do that right now. So you can see everything's copied in. So now if I go into the index.html and this isn't anything magic, we can just add a script defer source and we can just add that count button right there. There might be a better way of doing this, but this is the way I'm going to do it. And now we have it in. So in theory, I should just be able to say count btn and then count btn. Let's save. We refresh. Okay, there we go. Just need an extra refresh. So that's working. And I should be able to pass a prop to it. So I should be able to say um, count 23, just picking a random number. And that's working too. So that's how you get uh, view. Uh, Swelt component working with the View app. So that covers the uh, three big ones. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great uh, New Year's in 2021. Um, I look forward to uh, making more videos with you all. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments or feedback, uh, I'm always, uh, always here to listen. So I'll catch you next year.